I, I did it. And I know that you probably have done it too. I, I spent the day yesterday allowing my thoughts to think whatever they wanted. Good, bad, ugly, stinky. Sometimes it smelled good. We had moments. We had a picnic. But it was going to be a day where my, my mind was given permission to think whatever it wants and to allow it to do whatever it wants. And then on this side of the, of the story, though, I feel hungover. I, I feel like, ugh, I wasted a lot of energy. I, I feel weak because I gave too much of my thinking too much room to process. Gaining access to a thought process that has the courage to keep energy moving forward. Most who are creative understand that certain connection that I'm talking about. The universe is always so giving, not always on time, but, you know, when, when it comes to our time, I guess we have to put more investment in the progress and then the expression. Accepting the layers of the truer self, a better understanding of why the mind wants to swing. It's not always a joy ride, which I found out yesterday. No, we are the keepers of too much to think about. Now, as a daily writer, I'm gifted with a place to share my layers, but only time figures out when the deeper message is going to piece together with the other things, those other particles that make up the several different layers. Having respect with time is only a step until a new layer of voices make different decisions. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. I put focus on all things that are present and I try to understand why it is that things are moving forward. And yesterday, giving myself permission to think about whatever it wants to was probably a pretty dangerous thing to do because having the discipline to put thoughts on a page is something that takes courage, confidence, not conceit, but it's a willingness to be able to say, I'm going to come back and study this. Well, I didn't put it on paper yesterday. I just allowed myself to think. And today I feel hungover. This is the daily mess. There was once a time when all I ever wrote was poetry. And it was almost never with a writing instrument. The radio station had this thing. It was a new thing. It was called a computer. Yeah. In those days, the only people using that computer, they were the girls in the main office. This one was located in the newsroom. They didn't use it. Oh, no, 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 no. It was the typewriter generation. But I was determined to learn how to use that computer. I mean, it could save everything I typed and I can go back and, and, and make corrections. Oh, hell yes. It made me into a perfectionist, especially when it came to my poetry. Although I'm not as free-spirited as I used to be in discovering new things, I still have creative lines of expression. I still find writing to be my real voice, and the rest of me tends to follow. When did you discover the computer? When was that first moment that you said, wah la la? You know, from the computer came the internet. I'll never forget being in the radio station studio and they're saying, you don't need to go buy a USA Today anymore. You don't need to get a Charlotte Observer. No, no. All the information you need for your show is in this computer. You say, what? You mean I can have a connection? That's unbelievable. I felt the same way when I discovered MTV in the 1980s. They're playing videos all day? Music? Wow. The discovery of something new. I mean, come on. What, what, what about the iPod? And then, and then the discovery of podcasting. I'm talking with Jamie Lee Curtis here in about an hour and 15 minutes. She's got a podcast. It's called Letters from Camp. She's sharing stories all based on letters from camp. It, it, it's Mookie Hooper. This is the third season. It's amazing how far we've grown. But here's the, the shocker. This is it. What is the total cost of what it is that we have? Sticker shock, like that on a brand new car. It has all of these features, but somebody has to pay for it. There was once a time when all I ever wrote was poetry. Could you ever get back to that simple time? What do you have today that you don't want to ever get rid of? And yet, if you did, that simple time is knocking on your heart. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.